Could Kevin Painter not win that final? He'll still have the odd nightmare about that, but he's just got to regroup here today. Enjoy the occasion, but Kevin Painter means business and looks relaxed. Well, that final that Mark Webster is referring to was the 2004 World Championship final on this very stage. It's the closest Painter came to beating Taylor other than that win in the World Grand Prix in 01. Went all the way to a sudden death shootout. Painter had led the match by four sets 16. to one. I'm sure many of you will remember it. An absolute darting classic. Yeah, four sets to one, like you said. 5-3. He then trailed 6-5. He did well to dig it out. Kevin Payne to get it back to 6-all. Sudden death leg and ultimately the advantage of throwing first. Got Phil Taylor over the line. Just one of... 32 defeats that he suffered against Kevin uh, against Phil Taylor in his career, Kevin Painter, and he only beat him once. Yeah, and that was in that World Grand Prix. He did have, have him in a spot of bother in the Premier League, Kevin Painter. He's a couple of breaks of throw up, but Phil Taylor 55. pulled out all the stops. There was an nine data in there as well, but Kevin Painter, who had a good campaign in the Premier League, finished seventh in the end, but was in the mix for the top four in the last eight. Lost to Andy Hamilton. 60. Got in the Premier League by virtue of winning the Players' Championship Finals in 2011. Where he defeated Mark Webster, of all people. Yeah, enjoyed that one. Six Tough eight. night, but great night for Kevin Painter. And that opened the door for a campaign, a shot at the Premier League, and he'd been so close in the past. 57. And no doubt that we're looking at the greatest darts player of all time certainly the most successful you mentioned that nine tartar he hit against Kevin Painter one of 11 televised perfect legs from Phil Taylor and I think that Painter really wanted to play the power here in Perfleet they're all up for it aren't they Painter's certainly up for it, and I'm sure that Phil Taylor will want to put in a better showing than he did last night. It took him a bit of time to find his feet against Peter Kevin Manley, who took the first four. set. Kevin Painter was absolutely brilliant in his win against Wayne Warren. More on that in a moment, but he's looking to take the first leg here. Bullseye. For the opening leg, not to be. It's a good effort from Kevin. Phil Taylor, 1-12. Could be for the break as well. Not the lie he likes, but he'll stay there. 100. Kevin Utah, 25. Oh, he's close to the treble there. Stepping back for double A, and Kevin Painter finds it. Finds himself in front in the opening set. Um, you pointed out he's only beaten Phil Taylor on one occasion and when you've got such a bad record against the player early moments are important and then Painter wins the opening leg a hold a throw well, it's been a, a contrast in performances from Painter his 25. first round victory against Tony O'Shea went to a tie break in fact and that match was equivalent to three matches against Wayne Warren because he played 28 legs against O'Shea and only nine legs against Wayne what Warren yesterday. So speaking of nine legs, what about the nine legs Phil Taylor produced against Kevin Painter in the last 16 of the UK Open in 2010? Nine nearly beat 82. Kevin Painter with 118 plus average. And it was really how's your luck that night for Kevin because he never stood a chance. How are just picking it up a little bit? The 140 in the previous visit. 100. Plenty of cheer in the crowd. It's answer that many of them will be on Painter's side tonight, despite 45. the opportunity to witness the darting legend in the form of the most successful player ever. Just having a look at Phil Taylor here, Mark. Is he looking a little bit shaky to you? The hand not quite still. Yeah, well, the first dart, uh, I picked up on that there. It wasn't a good release. A bit edgy. There will be nerves. So far. 
Looks like he's going to level up here. Lost the first set, remember, to Peter Manley. Three legs to two yesterday, but Peter Manley offered little resistance from there on, and Phil Taylor rattled through the next three sets pretty comfortably. Well, that shouldn't matter. We'll come back, just tidying up in the end, Taylor. Here's on a potential 16 data. Square up the opening set. Yeah, Kevin Painter nowhere near in leg two. Double eight. Yeah, in good start for Phil Taylor. Comfortable oh. hold. Kevin to the opening Come set. On. All five legs in his set against Peter Manley went with throw yesterday. Painter 16. hasn't settled as quickly as he did yesterday against Wayne Warren. Mr John Gwynn commentated on many of Phil Taylor's successes and we'll commentate on maybe another Thank tomorrow. Gwynny will be joining us on the commentary team for the final day of the first ever World Seniors Darts Championship. And a visit from Kevin. We talk about that famous final they had on that stage. They had a bit of an ill-tempered affair the year after as well. Phil Taylor had 50 left for the match and went straight in the ball. And that never goes down well anyway, but it's not going to go down well with Kevin Painter, is it? And they had a, some choice words. Yeah, it was a, a quarter-final match here, wasn't it? And Painter had missed a few darts of the ball during the game. And he thought that Taylor was rubbing his nose in it. Wouldn't catch Dennis Priestley up to those kind of tricks, would you? An old gent. Taylor was the menace on that evening. 100. Painter took on Bridge. Painter had a couple of 140s in this leg. Time on the 161. May go 25 here. Just having a little glance over at Phil's score. The 25, or even a ball, will leave. Yeah, a sensible shot. And Phil has to think himself from 263. First job is getting a treble. He does 99. switch to ensure he leaves Kevin some Hill kind of check out, but Painter on a very simple one. Double top to regain the lead. Double ten. Painter pins it. Good down for Kevin. Hold the throw. Good leg from Kevin Painter. And he restores the lead in this opening set. Plenty of narrative around this match, but well, just in the context of this tournament, whoever does come through it is going to find it very difficult to defeat Robert Thornton in the semi-finals on the four he's in. We had one set there where he averaged 113 in the match, we just witnessed a breeze for the Thorn against Dave Prince. Yeah, and there was a lot of missed doubles in there from Robert, and he still managed to come through with a respectable average. And for me, I agree, he's the man to stop. 81. Taylor, as you mentioned, did drop the opening set against Peter Manley, but 100. didn't seem to be in real trouble. The best part of his game was his finishing. 50% double success for the power last night. 99. Painter. Fancy his chance from here. A couple of trebles here really sets him up in this set. 100. Lucky for more. Three straight turns, though. Still advantage the artist. 45. Even more so now. I was going to say take another turn. It's not going to come now. Take 95. A we'll get a start. Well, I'd say a shot at 106 to sew up this opening set. One hundred. Had a shot of a big finish Kevin in that final we've spoken about. He was left on double 16 to win it at one point before Taylor went out. He's going to get a double to take this first set. 
Double 18, not sure that was the intention, but it doesn't matter. That's why you go that way. And Kevin Painter cleans up the 106 and takes Second the first set, set off Taylor. To go first. Come on. 15 dart leg to complete the job from Kevin Painter. The last time they met on a big stage at the World Championship. And Kevin's 16. second to last appearance in 2017. He took the opening set on that occasion. But then Phil Taylor went on to take the next four, so Kevin Painter will know. It's all still a little bit up in One, the air, but 14. he'll be encouraged by the way he's starting now to play and the way Phil Taylor's yet to get going. I remember then there was a little bit of needle surrounding that match. Not actually with Kevin Painter, but with Wayne Mardell in the, in the studio afterwards. Or it was after the next game, I think. Wayne Mardell pushing his buttons. It wasn't inappropriate questions, wasn't it? What was different against Kevin, he asked. And Phil went off on a tangent. He was just a bit fired up, wasn't he? 140. And the crowd fired up here in the Circus Tavern enjoying a weekend of entertainment. Arrows icons 45. on the hockey. None more iconic than the man throwing right now. But will he be throwing here tomorrow? 85. Kevin Painter already has one big stage title under his belt lots of luck in the final in that one he's had no luck here so far what? it's been all his own work and he's warming to the task the artist great leg of darts which has included 340s from Kevin Painter he won the opening set on double 18. Wins the opening the leg of set Kevin two Painter. on double 18. Kevin and Kevin Painter, Painter in the ascendancy first. here. 4 1 up in Come leg on. play. Looking up at the scoreboard. Phil Taylor averaging 83 and a half. Phil, Kevin Painter must be thinking, how's your luck? But he is doing the job. 43. Taylor finds that treble 20 with dart one, but unable to follow. 85. What a day it's been here at the Circus Tavern. This afternoon we saw John Lowe on that stage, a man who played in the very first World 60. Championship final. Said it may well be the final time we see him on any darting stage after his defeat to Dave Prince, who's since been beaten in straight sets by Robert Thornton, the man who is fast becoming a favourite to win this title. 62. We saw Keith Della bow out against Larry Butler, who will take on Martin Adams in the final match of the evening. Yeah, Larry Butler, final match of the afternoon. So you know, Keith the fella Della. That went the deciding set. Keith Della through for the match. But couldn't get the job done. Butler. Pounds. 100. And he finishes off proceedings this evening. Well, at the moment, Kevin Painter is a dominant force in this darts match. And that's not a position he's been in very often against 95. this particular opponent. Not a position anyone's been in very often against the great Phil Taylor. And even when Phil Taylor bowed out of the sport, he won the world match play on the last attempt, defeating Peter Great. Wright, and all the way to the final, and Rob Cross just had too much for Phil Taylor. Taylor on a big finish, and Kevin Payne to lands. Three big trebles to put himself on 82. 99. Kevin McCart, 82. 25 and a ball. I'm satisfied with either. And 25 for ball now, yeah. Maybe, maybe we're just punting and going treble 17 here. They would have been satisfied with either. Now we'll be satisfied with both. 
Well, what do I know? I didn't think that first star left him much room. Some effort from Kevin Painter and a, a nod of acknowledgement. He gets the job done. He's two legs up in the second set. He's won five of the six legs played. And on the brink of a two sets to nil lead. The artist bedding the bullseye and bullying Phil Taylor, the man who used to bully him, used to bully them all. We spoke about those bullseye shenanigans. Painter getting his own back. And he's flying now. He's absolutely flying. He's got Phil Taylor in all sorts of bother. We said if the Phil Taylor last night turned up with that nervy, edgy performance, he'd be in trouble. It's a bit better, but still not enough. Kevin Painter going through the gears. 140. He's talking about laying darting demons to rest, Kevin Painter. I just meant beating him on this stage, but he's returned that bullseye finish and a, a very difficult one it was as well. He was threatening there to return the nine darter as well. He's in again. That was a lovely dart, Kevin Painter. His style, his action has never changed throughout his career. What's Taylor got? What has he got? 140. 140. Giving you a power 100. To leave himself for finish in case Painter cannot take this out. Maybe tops tops. That's a good dart. 80. And you'd have fancied that Giving the way it's stuck up in the board. Taylor needs the 124. Or he may be saying goodbye to set two. 14 for the ball or a treble for double 11. Bullseye. 83. Bullseye beyond him. And Kevin Painter looking to get further away from him. And does. On double 10. And it's a dominant display so far from that. That man there, Kevin Painter, looking to end 20 years of hurts against Phil the Power Taylor who is on the brink of elimination before the final for the World Championship at the Circus Tavern for the first time ever. Mark, can Painter finish the job? Well, he's in a great position. He's looked relaxed, he's looked confident. Got the darts in this set as well. He won't get a better chance to end that long wait for a victory on a big stage over Phil Taylor. Two sets in front in a race to three. And the winner will face Robert Thornton. So focused, isn't he, tonight? Like he was last night, actually, Kevin Painter. He's only dropped one leg this evening. Didn't drop any yesterday. 100. Talking, he's won 15 out of his last 16 legs. There's a great little run Kevin's on. We thought he wouldn't have it his own way here this evening, but he is so far. 100. Bossed it against Wayne Warren. All the way against Tony O'Shea. A big 1-5-6 in there as well. Painter edging closer to the last four. 140. In all seriousness, Mark, if Phil Taylor does bow out tonight, having dusted down his darts and returned for this World Seniors Championship, do you think we'll see him at more World Seniors events, or do you think he might just say, you know what, Kevin, you I gave it a go and I might just put them away again? No, I think we'll see him again. Phil Taylor is a winner, and I think he'll want to prove he can still do it. He's maybe coming a little underprepared. Because remember, the exhibition scene has not been up and running, has it, during the pandemic, and that's what Phil Taylor relies on. 90. Kevin Fair point. Painter himself has decided to step away from the professional circuit. He's not going to attend Q School anymore. But he's carving out a name for himself here at the first ever World Seniors Championship.
double 12 for another leg. Team showing the first leg. Uh, and Kevin Painter. Kevin Painter. Seven of eight legs won by Kevin Painter. He's dominating. One of the but it's Taylor time. The tower towering up. Firing in his first maximum, his second of the tournament. Just when the artist thought he was going to have it all his own way, Taylor sends a timely reminder. And then again, hang about. Oh, unlucky. It was a great One, dart to three. stack on, wasn't it? As the late great Sid Waddell used to call it the understacker. A complete contrast to the Kevin Painter that look at sticks up in the treble One, 20. Had a little smile at Taylor, didn't he there, Kevin Painter? Have you been reading me in? 60. 60 there, Kevin Painter will start down the bottom of the board here more than likely just to give himself that outside chance in this leg. Now aggressively just going up. 100, filling the car 121. It's a bit of welly behind that dart as well, Kevin. His last appearance on the big world championship stages of the feat to Mensor Sulevic. No, I remember that. Certain. It was the game after I lost to Paul Lim. It was my last appearance on the World Championship stage. Of course, all Paul Lim in this tournament. This would be a first leg in seven for Phil Taylor. Car 24. And it would be a 13 dart leg, much, much better. Double 12. It's a long way off. Double 6. It's gone 12 for double 6 instead. Drift inside. Kevin, this one here. Painter may go a couple of treble 19s and he may just go a couple of treble 20s. I don't see treble 20, treble 18. Surely he's got to stay. It was the right shot. Unlucky, it was the right shot. Yeah, it stood up perfectly, that dart, didn't it? What been a help there? into the treble. Double three, awkward. Now then. Double one. And he no can score. hit it. Kevin Painter. Double 18 to go one away from but victory. Don't forget that Phil Taylor started this leg with a maximum followed by a 140. Squandered the chance to level the set and Kevin he Painter does not line. need asking Kevin twice. Painter. The artist is first. now one away. On. The Towers fans may be heading home unhappy. Uh, Phil Taylor folk will be concerned but let's not do a disservice. Kevin Painter has been focused, he's doing the job, he's played well and he's one leg away. Well, they all got a little bit scrappy and scruffy at times against Tony O'Shea, but Painter last seven. night in that clean sweep against Wayne Warren added 10 points onto his average from his first round match, averaging around 95, as good as anything we've seen. Yeah, and a potential semi-final between Kevin 24. Painter and Robert Thorns would probably, you'd argue, they're the two best players so far. Yeah, many people will be saying whoever wins that semi-final will go on to win the tournament. But this is going to be a special moment for Kevin Painter if he manages to topple Taylor on that stage. Make no mistake about that. 100. Steady turn from Kevin. to lose his focus here Kevin Painter a couple of scrappy visits in this leg fortunately for him Taylor has also had a couple of visits 16. in the 40s yeah, it's a bit edgy this leg 12 darts thrown Painter 257 just crawling a little bit here but he won't be panicked just yet We've got a buffer in this set 100. a buffer of two sets to nil as well first to finish Kevin 
He had a 1-5-6, didn't he? Yesterday. So Martin Adams still the man with a higher finish than that. 1-5-7, in fact. Painter looking to match it, looking to win this match in style. Staying up there. Good start. And the pressure's on now. Phil Taylor, 108 points. 19, treble 19. For 32. Not going to go. Painter's going to get two match starts. And we haven't said that very often against Phil Taylor for Kevin. Is this Kevin Painter's moment? Double 20. To end 20 years of hurts. 37. But he only finds 20, he gives Phil 55. Taylor another chance. A wry smile from Phil Taylor, he's still hanging on in there. 15. Tops. To keep this tie going. And he finds the double tops. Kevin Payne's had a couple of match starts. He missed him. Phil Taylor breaks. And we go on. He said something to Kevin Payne with a big Cheshire Cat grin on his face there, Phil Taylor. Painter turned away, he doesn't want to get involved, get his focus broken. But it's full focus from Phil Taylor now. 140. Is there a way back? He was on the brink. Could not have been. Clinging on to that cliff edge. Painter ready to kick him off. He was two sets down, two legs down. Two darts at double top for Kevin Painter went begging. 140. And it won't be as relaxed Kevin Painter thrown for the match for the second time if it's two legs apiece. Well, he may get it done here. Maximum for Kevin Painter. And full credit, full credit to get him down to the same score. Taylor with two 140s in this leg. Will be on a finish, as long as he stays straight, but he hasn't stayed straight. And Painter might get a chance to win it in this leg. He may well do now. He's turned this leg on its head, Painter, that 180. 85. Coming down, needs to find a treble. Can't find one spraying around. You can see the frustration. Painter, is he going to get some more match starts? He may get him here. He's not going to get him here. 55. Building the car 119. 19s for Taylor. Now 20s. And he gets a dart. That tops. And he takes it out. A ton topping finish for Phil Taylor. He lifts himself, he lifts the crowd. Kevin Painter has the darts to send the power packing. Well, he's livening up the crowd and giving Kevin Painter plenty to ponder now. It's all been one way traffic in this match until now. Kevin Painter, though, still has the darts. 100. I'm happy with that opening visit of 100. He doesn't want to allow Taylor to get going, does he? He really wants to get rid of him right now because Taylor is improving. Yeah, that's a perfect dart for Kevin. Look at this, surely. Seemed harder to miss, but Kevin Painter, thrown for the match, a return of a turn and a turn 40, will be satisfied with that. And it's forced a mistake. 63. The last start was crucial, really, for Phil Taylor in the treble, but Painter holding all the aces. Yeah, good start. He'd be happy with that. Painter's had two match starts already. He may get a few more than two here. He's got a great cushion on Phil Taylor not making inroads. Plenty of time for Kevin Painter to wrap up this quarter final. Well, I'll just remind everybody that when Kevin Painter beat 
Phil Taylor in the 2001 World Grand Prix. The head-to-head -head record was 1-1. Now it stands at 32-1 in favour of Taylor. And after more than two decades, it may be about to change. To 32-2. Kevin Painter, 105 points away now. Thank you. Good that. More match starts coming for Kevin Painter and nothing Phil Taylor can do about it. All he can do is apply some pressure and hope Painter fluffs his lines again. Some pressure from the power. But will Painter feel it? There is the artist's answer. Kevin Painter puts